does it all mean? Wars in Afghanistan, wars in Iraq, wars in Somalia, Sudan, Ivory Coast, Libya, Iran is close, Syria is close, Greece, Turkey, Israel is close to war. In Europe, Greece, Spain, Italy, Portugal, United Kingdom, Ireland, Iceland, broke on the verge of defaulting on their debt. The euro is toast. Germany is reprinting the Deutschmark. France is reprinting the franc. Why are these European countries collapsing by accident or engineered? Who can engineer the collapse of the European Union? The central banks that yeah. control their money, that control their economy, that control their government. Who are they? What are they? Bank of England, European Central Bank, London Bullion Bank, Swiss Credit Bank, Deutsche Bank, Bank for International Settlements. Who controls these banks? British Royal Family, Dutch Royal Family, Rothschild, Warburg, Perlman, Bilderberg. America has been collapsing since 2008. Tidal waves of home foreclosures. Millions have lost money in the hedge fund derivative fraud. Over 20% unemployed and underemployed. Over 40 million on food stamps. America has the largest gap between the wealthiest and poor than any westernized nation. Money printing done on computer is rampant by the Federal Reserve. You need to know that the Federal Reserve is a private bank controlled by Wall Street and Europe. America, she is broke, bankrupt, finished. She owes the world 14 million. If you add what she owes in Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, over 600 military bases around the world, seven wars going on right now in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, Libya, Yemen, Bahrain, Somalia, and all the debts of her 50 states. You have a debt of $60 trillion with a T. Do you know how much a trillion dollars is? It is the amount Republicans and Democrats spend on hookers, both female and male. Uh, yeah. Except the fact Obama is a puppet. Who controls Obama? Wall Street, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Citibank, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, HSBC, throw in the IMF, throw in the World Bank. Her Congress is bought by Wall Street. America's manufacturing has completely gone to China. Over 8 million high-paying jobs have been offshored to third world countries. What does America manufacture? Tanks. Jets, helicopters, bombs, missiles. Her only business is war. Yeah. Dwight D. Eisenhower, five-star general, two-term president, warns the world about the military industrial complex. In Canada, who prints the Canadian dollar? Is it still Bank of Canada? No. no. Private banking cartel, prints the money, loans it to our government at compound interest. Who are these banks? Wall Street, IMF, World Bank, Bank of England, Bank for International Settlements, Deutsche Bank. When the private banking cartel prints 10 billion, lends it to the Bank of Canada, it goes to the commercial banks, RBC, CIBC, Scotia Bank. BMO, TD Canada Trust, these private banks practice fractional reserve banking. 
You need to know what fractional reserve banking really is. Do your research. Fractional reserve banking takes the 10 billion and creates 90 billion out of thin air. And you are charged compound interest on that. And it kills your dollar. All student loans, all home mortgages, all credit cards do not come from existing money. It is created on a spot, on a computer, the second you sign your name, and you are charged compound interest on money that never existed. Yeah. When the CRA collects your income tax, when you pay HST, when you pay property tax, when you pay inflation on food and gas, where does that money go? Almost 90% of it goes to Wall Street, goes to Europe. The man who runs the Bank of Canada, Mark Carney. Yeah. Mark Carney works for Goldman Sachs. Who benefits from the oil, the gold, the rare earth metals from Canada, the private banking cartel through NAFTA. It is a mafia, plain and simple. Yeah! America! America, what happens when you default on your debt of $60 trillion? Ask Argentina, ask Zimbabwe, ask the Weimar Republic. You get an engineered hyperinflation. No country will trade with you to keep your economy going. The Federal Reserve will print money like crazy until it becomes worthless. America is heading into its worst depression ever, and Canada is going down with it. What are we going to see from the worst depression ever? We're going to see our new currency, the Amaro. It is already in the vault of the IMF and the World Bank, followed by the world currency, the special drawing right, SDR a one-world banking system. The IMF, World Bank, and Bank for International Settlements will amalgamate into one super central bank. We will see a new dictator, a new Hitler. What else are we going to see from this worldwide depression? A world war. America and Europe will go toe-to-toe -to -toe against China, Russia, India, and Venezuela as we are all preoccupied with this war. The banking cartel, the royal family, Vatican, Bilderberg, Trilateral Commission, Council of Foreign Relations, Club of Rome, Rockefeller, Rothschild will follow their master, the Illuminati, and take us into a dictatorship, one world government. Are we conspiracy theorists? The Illuminati are as real as you and me. Who are they? What are they? They are not humans. They are not humans. They are not humans. Think about it. Human beings do not come up with a monetary system that enslaves us with debt. Human beings do not come up with fractional reserve banking that steals the wealth of the middle class through inflation. Human beings don't start wars for profit. Human beings don't come up with the atomic bomb. Human beings don't come up with chemtrails. Human beings don't manipulate the weather with Project Harp. Human beings don't decide to deceive the world to believe a man was put on the moon. Human beings don't, believe, don't put fluoride in water to dumb us down. Human beings don't modify the genetics of food so our organs fail. Human beings don't put natives in reservation systems. Human beings don't put Cambodians on killing fields. Human beings don't put Africans in apartheid systems. Human beings don't kill off Africans by engineering their famine, their civil war, and their HIV. In Zimbabwe alone, over 20,000 are dying per month of AIDS. What are the people in Zimbabwe doing differently today than they were doing a hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, six thousand years ago, when this virus never existed? We are told that a few Africans had sex with monkeys 
And that is why over 8 million sub-Saharan Africans are dying of AIDS per year. I say bullshit. Where did this yeah. virus come from? From the same power that propped up dictators like, St like Hitler, like Stalin, Mussolini, Mao, Suharto, Pol Pot, the Shah, Batista, Pinochet, Saddam Hussein, Mubarak, Netanyahu, Barack Hussein Obama, and Stephen Joseph Harper. Yes! And finally, human beings certainly don't bring the world to a dictatorship, one world government. Human beings are you and me. Human beings live with empathy. Human beings live with soul. Human beings live with a God, give us consciousness. This is our world with the Illuminati. Who are they, I ask you? Who are they? What are they? They are devils. Devils. <laughs>